这部长三十二厘米、高十七厘米的便携式打字机，曾经伴随着一位美国女记者，十二年间在战火纷飞的中国抗日战场穿行。一九二八年底，供职于德国《法兰克福报》的美国记者、作家艾格尼斯·史莫特莱来到中国，亲眼目睹了日本对中国东北的侵略。一九三三年。他将自己对中国的报道整理成《今日中国特写》《中国人民的命运》一书，向全世界披露了被压迫人民的悲惨境遇。She identified with the ordinary working, struggling people, first of the United States, but then India, and she came to China, the rural, poor peasant background, which was her own background, and a kind of empathy、uh, rather than somebody from a more distant background. Trying to imagine the life of the poor, so she was very unusual that way. 一九三七年一月，史莫特莱接到邀请访问延安，找这里的新变化。四个月的时间，他的打字机常常响到深夜，对无产阶级争取自由与独立的斗争有了更深的理解。他说：“中国征服了我吗？”他说：“一种新思想、新作风、新人在延安生了根。”就说这个。四万万五千万中国同胞啊，的光明前途在这里。您的感染，抗战期间先后写下了《中国在反击》《中国的战歌》等多部专著，并为德国《法兰克福报》《美国时代》杂志、英国《曼彻斯特卫报》撰写了大量报道，真实的向世界介绍了中国军队，尤其是中国共产党领导的八路军和新四军浴血抵抗日本侵略的英勇事迹。She saw the sacrifices of the Chinese common soldiers, and they were facing the Japanese army that had a great advantages. So there was huge sacrifices. She very much admired that and tried to write about the the fighting spirit of extremely poor and hungry people, soldiers. In 焦家在伦敦去世，依照他生前的愿望，史莫特莱的骨灰被安放在中国北京八宝山革命公墓。朱德亲自题写碑文。中国人民之友、美国革命作家史莫特莱女士之墓。